up to the concept of valency and radical. Now I'm going to present some elements. They have different valency and their symbol also. And I'm going to present some radicals also. They have different valency and they have different uh, formulas. Now let's talk about them. Valency one. There are some elements like hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, silver. They have valency one. In the same way, valency two. Oxygen, sulfur. There are some metals also. Calcium, magnesium, lead, copper, zinc, iron, cobalt, mercury. This. Metals have valency 2, these non metals have also valency 2. Now, valency 3, nitrogen has valency 3, aluminium, and the same way, valency 4, carbon, silicon, etc. And valency 5, valency 5, phosphorus has valency 5, and valency 6, sulfur. Actually, some of the elements have different valency, and we must know about this variable valency also. Just for example, sulfur is normal valency is 2. But sometimes its valency is 4 also, and sometimes its valency is 6 also. And in the same way, nitrogen is normally, we, we have its valency 3, but sometimes its valency is 5 also. And in the same way, there are some metals which have variable valency. Look at this, copper. Sometimes copper has valency 1. And that's why I'm writing here also copper. And in the same way, this mercury has also valency 1. But normally, copper and mercury, they have valency 2. In the same way, iron has valency 2, but its valency is sometimes 3 also. And in case of lead also, this lead, its valency is sometimes 4 also. This is the concept of variable valency. Now, I want to mention one of the important matter related with variable valency of metals. Now, metals, let's say the elements, metal, they have variable valency. If they have variable valency, many metals have variable valency. And if we say us, then they have less valency. If we say ik, then they have more valency. I mean to say, just for example, in case of iron, if ferrous is 2, its valency is 2. And if ferric is 2, its valency is 3. In the same way, if cuprous is 2, its valency is 1. Cupric is 2, valency is 2. Copper has 2 different valencies, sometimes 1, sometimes 2. Cuprous 1, cupric 2. Mercurous, mercury, it, its valency may be 1 only, and called mercurous, and mercuric valency 2. In the same way, lead also, plumbus valency 2, plumbic valency 4. Some of the metals which have variable valency and their valency is represented in terms of os and ik. Os represents less valency, ik represents more valency. Now, uh, after this, after this means I want to say this elements. Now I want to mention the valency of some radicals which frequently comes in the chemical reaction. Just for example, carbonate. Carbonate is valency is 3. Formula CO3, sorry, valency 2. And this is sulfate. Sulfate. Formula is SO4, valency 2. N-I-T-R-A-T-E. Nitrate, NO3, valency 1. Nitrite, N-I-T-R-I-T-E, nitrite is formula is NO2, valency 1. Ammonium, ammonium is formula is NS4 and its valency is 1. And hydroxide is formula is OS and valency 1. Sulfite. Sulfite, SO3, valency is 2. Bicarbonate or hydrogen carbonate. Bicarbonate or hydrogen carbonate.
this valency uh, this formula is H C O three and valency is one. Bisulfate. Bisulfate is, or it is also called hydrogen sulfate. Is formula is H S O four and its valency is one. In the same way, C H L O R A T E chlorate. C L O three valency one. Eleven. This. Silicate, S I L I C A T E, silicate, S I O 3, its valency is 2. And phosphate, P H O S P S A T E, phosphate, P O 4, its valency is 3. These are some of the radicals which have uh, different valency, and I mentioned their um, uh, formula also. And these are some uh, elements which have different valency, I mentioned the variable valency also, without the memory of their valency, I mean to say we must remember their valency, we must remember their form, their symbol, in the same way we must remember their formula and we must remember their uh, valency, without the, uh, without this valency and symbol and formula we will not be able to write molecular formula of a compound and if we cannot write molecular formula of a compound then we will not be able to write chemical reaction that's why I suggest you to remember all this we have to be very very fast and clear concept about the valency just like if you are told to say the valency of sodium any valency 1 nitrogen valency 3 sulfate SO4 valency 2 phosphate PO4 valency 3 we have to be very fluent and Without confusion, if we remember this valency symbol and formula, then only we'll be able to write molecular formula and chemical reaction.